Hello, good afternoon all students. How are you my children? All are fine, no? Take care at home and be safe, okay? And we are going to learn today maths next concept. We have learned three concepts. First of all, small and big. Then in front of and behind and then above and below right so students today we are going to learn our next concept okay students our first concept we are going to learn is earlier and later in this picture you can see the topic name of earlier and later okay now in the first picture you can see Mom made chapati earlier. Right? And in the next picture you can see later she roasted it. It means your mom will uh, your mom made chapati earlier. It means first of all your mom um, made chapati on roller pot and then your ma mom roasted the chapati on the gas right so first thing which we have done it means it is earlier and after that what's happened that's called later before we make chapati and after we roasted it okay so first thing which we have done that is earlier and afterwards it is later okay now I hope you understand we cannot roast chapati without it rolled okay first of all your mom made dove with wheat flour right then your mom rolled the chapati on the roller pot and the, with the roller pin right and then your mom roasted the chapati on the gas right you know this procedure we cannot change this procedure right we cannot roasted chapati first and afterwards we cannot roll it right so students which thing we can do first it is earlier and last one is later okay now students, here you can see the next picture. One girl is wearing shoes and socks. We all wear shoes and socks, right? But before wearing shoes or socks, what we wear first? We always wear first socks and then we can wear shoes right we can't wear first shoes and then we cannot wear socks so students the girl name is rama in the first picture you can see rama wore her socks earlier and in the next picture later she wore her socks right so first of all she wore socks and then she wore shoes right so rama wore her socks earlier later she wore her shoes okay so students here the rama girl wore earlier socks and later she wore shoes okay so first thing which we can do that is earlier and afterwards it means later okay do you understand students now here you can see the third picture the boy yash wears his helmet earlier later he rides his bicycle you all rides bicycle right but Whenever you are riding bicycle, first of all you wear helmet, right? And then you ride the bicycle, always, right? 
first you can't ride the bicycle and after riding the bicycle you cannot wear helmet right so it is no use for that helmet right so that's why we all wear helmet first and then we ride bicycle or bike right so here also the boy yash wears his helmet earlier and later he rides his bicycle it means he wear helmet that is the first thing before riding bicycle and afterwards he ride bicycle so first thing which he wear helmets it is earlier and afterwards it means later he rides his bicycle i hope students you have and you understood the lesson and you understood the earlier and later okay now here we are going to learn one and many students we have lot of things around us right some objects are same and some are different we have lot of pencils right some have two pencils some have five pencils some have 10 pencils right so we can count these things but we cannot count stars right we cannot count buildings and houses around us right some we can count but we can't count all the buildings around us right so one here we are going to learn one and many it means if there is object in only one number it is one and any objects more than one it may be 2 it may be 3 it may be 10 it may be 100 it may be 1000 that is called many so here you can see in first picture there are brushes of paint painting right so the green brush is in one number right so that is one and next you can see four brushes so four brushes are many it means if there is one object it is one and if there is more than one object it is called many so here is one brush and many brushes so we can see like we can say like this one brush and many brushes now students here is a question draw a circle around the picture showing one object so take a pencil and circle one object and where is one object very good in the first picture there is only one brush so let's round the one brush take a pencil and circle the one brush have you done very good students now students here you can see some balls right shall we count the balls in the first picture let's count the balls how many balls are there okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and nine. there are nine balls in first box and in the second picture how many balls are there oh there is only one ball so we have learned that if the object is in one number so it is one and if the object is more than one so that is many so nine balls are many and one ball is one so the question is draw a circle around the picture showing many objects so students we have to round to the many object so let's start the round take a pencil 
and circle the many object have you done very good now students in this picture you can see some flowers and in the first picture there is only one flower and you can see the flower is sad because it is only one and in the next picture you can see three flowers count that flowers one two and three so there are three flowers and they are happy because they are together right so students we are learning one and many and we have learned that if there is one object it is called one and if there is more than one object it is called many so students in the first picture there is only one flower and in the next picture there are many flowers so the question is draw a circle around the picture showing one object so we have to circle the object that is only one so tell me which object is only one yes in the first picture there is only one flower so take a pencil and let's circle the one flower circle that flower have you done very good now in the last picture you can see top there are three tops in first picture right and in the second picture there is only one top and draw a circle around the picture showing many objects so tell me students in which picture there are many tops yes very good in the first picture there are three tops so let's circle the three tops while circling while doing circle we are showing that these are the many objects students have you done very good now students here is page number 6 find the difference we have two pictures over here and we have to find the difference difference between these two pictures observe both the pictures given below find out and tell the differences between them okay so here are two pictures and some differences are there in both pictures so we have to find out the differences between that pictures okay so let's observe the pictures students you also have to observe the pictures and tell me the differences Yes I got the first difference The ball size is bigger in first picture and the second picture ball size is small So let's circle the difference So let's circle the balls Take a pencil and circle the balls Have you done very good now students observe the picture again and tell me the difference yes i got the second difference the boy is in front of the girl in first picture and the girl is in front of the boy is in second picture so let's circle the boy take a pencil and circle the boy very good now observe the picture again observe the picture again students and see the difference can you see the difference yes i got the difference In the first picture there are only two birds and in the next picture there are four birds two birds are missing in the first picture so let's circle the birds take a pencil and circle the birds have you done very good now 
कैन यू सी मोर डिफरेंसेस ऑब्जर्व द पिक्चर केयरफुली सी द स्काय ग्रास बॉय गर्ल कैन यू सी द डिफरेंस येस आई गॉट वन मोर डिफरेंस One butterfly is above the ball, and one butterfly is in front of the ball. So let's circle the butterfly. Take a pencil and circle the butterfly. Yes, very good. Now observe the picture again. See the difference. Can you see the difference? Hmm. Yes, I got the difference. In the first picture, boy's pant color is brown, and in the second picture, boy's pant color is yellow. Let's circle the boy's pants. Yes, have you done? Very good. Now, students, find more differences. Look at the picture carefully, and can you find the differences? Hmm. Yes, I got the. I got one more difference. In the first picture, there is a flower, and in the second picture, there is no flower. So let's circle the flower. Take a pencil and circle the flower. Very good. Now there is one there is one more difference find out that look at the pictures carefully yes i got the difference there is big grass in the second picture and there is small grass in the first picture so let's circle the grass have you done very good like this we have Far found many differences, right? So we have done this activity. Very good, students. Clap for you all. Very well done. Now, students, we will meet tomorrow with more exciting units. Okay. So till then, bye bye. Take care, students. Now students you have to write CW on your textbook page then write day and date and then write the topic of one and meaning and students you have to draw some pictures and you have to write the spellings of one and many below that pictures okay you have to draw five pictures you can draw any kind of pictures in your notebook okay so do the homework and cw for cw you have to write five pictures and for homework you have to draw five pictures okay